Shalom, my name is Ari Lucas, and I am the senior rabbi at Congregation Agudath Israel in Caldwell. I'm honored to share this bit of Torah for Parshat Mishpatim, and also in honor of February, which is Jewish Disability Awareness and Inclusion Month. One question I have about this week's Torah portion comes from the language the Torah uses when warning judges against taking a bribe. The Torah says, V'shochad lo tikach, ki ha-shochad ya'aver pikrim. Do not take a bribe, for bribes blind the clear-sighted and pervert the words of the innocent. The simple meaning of this verse is that when a judge takes a bribe, the judge is no longer considered impartial. As Rashi explains, even if someone is wise or well-versed in Torah, the bribe will confuse their mind. In reviewing this passage, I struggled with the Torah's choice of words. Why does the Torah use a disability like blindness as a metaphor for being partial or biased? Why couldn't the Torah simply say what it means directly, that bribes can confuse our judgment? Metaphors are evocative and illustrative. They are powerful literary tools, but they can also be hurtful when they reinforce stereotypes or disregard the full humanity of groups or individuals. Someone who is blind is no more or less informed than someone who is sighted, and they're no more or less partial in judgment. In some ways, language like this is not only problematic because it's hurtful, but also because it's imprecise. It's a shortcut that prevents us from saying accurately and clearly what we mean to express. I wasn't aware of how often I use disabilities as a metaphor in my own writing until I took a seminar led by my colleague, Rabbi Lauren Tuckman, who is a disabilities rights advocate. She pointed out that this might make people with disabilities feel unwelcome in synagogue, or even worse, feel alienated from our sacred tradition. Ever since I took that seminar, I've tried to be more intentional, more sensitive in my writing. I don't always live up to my own aspirations, but I'm trying to do better. So what are we to make of the Torah's language? The Torah, after all, is our sacred text. How do we understand its use of blindness as a metaphor? I think one answer could come from a teaching that our rabbis of the Talmud taught, which is that Dibra Torah Kilshon Bnei Adam, the Torah speaks in the language of human beings. One way to understand that teaching is that in each generation, the Torah speaks to us in different ways. It means that ideas of the Torah are mediated through human language, born out of a particular time and place, and also reflective of our own shortcomings and the limitations of language itself. So while we can't change the text of the Torah, we can change the language we choose to use in our daily life and which metaphors we find resonant in our day that might be more inclusive and respectful. So if the same command were issued today, what metaphor might be more inclusive and more appropriate? Perhaps we might say that a bribe disables the judge's GPS, or to borrow language from our political discourse, something I'm not keen to do, the bribe rigs the system against the innocent. Let us be conscientious and intentional in our word choices. After all, words create worlds. We should be thoughtful about how the language we use can empower and invite, be inclusive, as well as offend or disable. In doing so, may our commitment to the process of Torah learning bring us closer to God and to one another. Shabbat Shalom.